Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to be reviewing Joker. And like with every video on this channel, it's just our opinion. I would love to hear yours in the comments below. So Joker is an origin story of the world famous villain, a fan favorite of anyone who's big into superhero movies. But this is a really dark and gritty and really grounded film. Joaquin Phoenix gives an amazing performance, a 10 out of 10 performance in my opinion. I think he should definitely be nominated for best actor and as of right now I don't see who would be better than him. His portrayal as Joker, Arthur Fleck, someone who is just beat down. The world figuratively and literally beats this man into the ground. He struggles with a lot of different mental illness in this film and his inability to come up the way the system fails him. He cannot get his medication anymore. He cannot get any support. No one seems to care about this guy and you know it takes a very dark turn. Now I know this film had some criticisms because people thought maybe some real world applications of this event and I totally understand that when you watch the movie you do see how this could be taken maybe that way by someone but as someone like me who watches it I see it more as a cautionary tale something about how the world should not you know disenfranchise people let them just fall between the cracks like someone like this and see how someone can just completely slip into madness it's just such a great performance by him. The one thing that I thought was a really good creative choice by the writers and director of this film is the way they use his laugh. I thought there was no other way that we were going to get the Joker laugh anymore. We've had every version of it. I felt like Jared Leto's version tried to be original, but it struggled. This was original yet so creative. You have him have a like a physical and mental issue where he just uncontrollably laughs and you can see it visibly hurts him. It's the, the way he laughs is so unnerving and uncanny and just you can tell that his body is struggling to laugh and it just the fact that we have a Joker character who's that's kind of an iconic thing of the Joker and then you have a you have an actor who's portraying it as almost like a pain and crying or having like an anxiety attack and laughing at it is such a strong symbolism there. I like Todd Phillips take on Gotham it's a dirty trash riddled crime ridden city that's just falling apart and just the fact that you kind of have a character growing up in this environment is a product of this environment. You have kind of an idea that society creates these monsters and creates these villains. So at the end of the day, while this character is horrible and he's committing horrible acts and you could take that away, you kind of see that society is the real monster in this movie. And yeah, it's just, it's just an interesting take on a very classic character and done in a very, very powerful way. When I say powerful, this movie hits you in so many places. I see so many movies every year. Very few times I leave the theater and I'm still thinking about it a couple weeks later, a couple days later. I immediately needed to see this movie again because it hits you so hard. The score of this film is very haunting. It has a slow build. And when you're watching him just fall into the void of madness, it builds and builds and builds. And it works perfectly with the mood of the film. I know a lot of people said it's very droney and very one note, but it kind of is showing his world is dismal and dark and just his mind exploding. Speaking of which, I also like that the film kind of has an unreliable narrative. There are moments where things happen in the movie that didn't actually happen. A lot of it is kind of being taken from his perspective. You have moments where you think he's with someone where he isn't. There's moments where you think that these people are on his side and people are laughing with him when they're really laughing at him. And just having that character not fully understand society at large, it's kind of interesting. And also there's a moment in it that I thought was really compelling where he commits these horrible acts and then he goes and he runs away and instead of having your traditional moment where maybe a crazy character is talking to himself, having a complete meltdown, he starts to dance. There's actually like a lot of dancing in this movie. I was kind of surprised by it, honestly. And that was another thing that's by Joaquin Phoenix that was really well done. There's a lot of physical acting, a ton of physical acting. You obviously saw that he lost a ton of weight from this movie and he looks just creepy. He looks malnourished. He looks like he's struggling both physically and mentally. And having him just explode and punching and dancing and just he absolutely steals the show anytime he's on scene. He's absolutely going for it. And I think that people may not like that. I personally think that he was going for it. You have an actor who's flexing every muscle in his acting body to get this movie done. But some may see it as overacting. Some people see, may see it as over the top. I personally didn't. I think it works for the character. The movie as a whole is totally overblown. Everything about society, everything about this character is just taken to the absolute worst level. The absolute worst characters of humanity of just anything and I think it works this movie and I think that was the way that the director intended it to be. So enjoy that it does lean into the comic universe a little bit. You have Thomas Wayne, you have a couple scenes with Bruce Wayne also involved in the end of the film. Something happens that when you see it you'll know but the fact that they were able to lean into the DC universe just a little bit, the comic universe, give you a little bit of a setup, kind of have him as the Joker from DC other than the fact that it takes place in Gotham 
I like that. I like that it didn't lean into it. It wasn't like, oh, it's all about him going against Batman. It's all about him being raised in Arkham Asylum and all that stuff. You could have totally refabricated this movie and made it not a Joker movie, and it still would have worked really well. And I like that. I like that the movie doesn't hang its hat on being a comic book movie. So at the end of the day, I really cannot find too many faults of this movie. I watched it a second time, and both times I thought it was really amazing. Seeing it in IMAX, seeing it normally, I just have to say it's such a powerful and just aggressive movie. It doesn't shy back. Maybe it isn't a movie for everyone, and I understand the issues that some people may have with, with it. But from a filmmaking standpoint, the acting, the cinematography, the writing, everything about it worked really well. So I'm going to actually have to give Joker a 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't do this a lot. And I, when I saw it, I wasn't sure. That's one of the reasons why I saw it a second time. It's not common to give a movie a perfect score. But I think this movie nailed ex exactly what it was going for. It felt so original. It invokes so much emotion and so much just disturbingness from it. It's something that... I haven't seen a lot in cinema, especially in recent years, and yeah, I just think it was just a real masterpiece. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of Joker. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it as much as I did? Did you have issues with, you know, the ramifications of the movie? That's something that I think is a big talking point. That seems like people are talking about that more than the actual quality of the film. Do you think that is a problem? So I'd like to hear that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.